Someone wrote in and said, how can I get my husband to see that I'm sleeping because he was unfaithful to me? It hasn't even been a week since I found out he want, and he wants me to be over it by now. How do I get my husband to realize I'm sleeping? Because he was unfaithful to me. Tell him that. This is Reed Paco from RevoutSex.com. Kathy Vartuli from the Intimacy Dojo.com. Yeah, but okay. if you have if you have boundaries about like you know like if she's violating a oh oh agreement. the reason I'm sleeping is because you're unfaithful right so she feels like because she wants, he's, she wants to find out every unfaithfulness right so okay. she's going into stuff that may or may not she doesn't specify yeah. be within their agreement to go into and she feels justified because he was unfaithful Got it. and he's feeling frustrated that she's not that she's okay. Sleeping. So, a couple of things that I would do. Um, infidelity is a serious thing. Mm -hmm. uh, culture's all weird about it. Um, and most people, given the families and the communities they grew up in, are, were never given the tools to be able to handle, um, in grounded ways, uh, surprises and, and breaches of agreements like infidelity. And there's a ton of shame on both parties. On both parties. Um, and it could, there could be a lot of other things going on mm -hmm. under the surface. So here's what I would do. One, consider getting a therapist. Um, consider that both of you have a therapist, maybe different therapists. Mm -hmm. Consider going to some sort of couples counseling or couples therapy so that you can have a referee step in and kind of, you know, help you to communicate about what's going on. Read the book, uh, A New Monogamy, mm -hmm. um, by Tammy Nelson. Really good book. Read the book, Mating in Captivity, Esther by S. Perel. And this is a, you must read this book, um, The Five Languages of Apology, which I believe just got retitled, When Sorry Isn't Enough. Yeah, and it's a short read. It's really worth the time. Um, because you've had a, breach of trust you need to learn you need the tools to be able to uh, hear if somebody's saying that they're sorry mm -hmm. and start to forgive in this process and then you need the tools to work through what infidelity all the possible meanings of infidelity not the culturally approved uh, meanings of infidelity which if we try to do this by culture standards, mm -hmm. you're just screwed. Yeah. Um, and so, and then getting, hiring a professional listener is probably a really useful thing because you're hurt, you're angry, you're demanding some sort of, uh, you know, answers and you want, you want all the data, um, and emotions are raw. And so the healing process, you know, isn't really going to be furthered by more snooping, and I totally understand why you want to snoop. So, and it's a week old, so it's super fresh. Yeah. Like, it hasn't even scabbed over yet. It's still oozing, <laughs> you know, hurt. So, I totally get it. Yeah. I think if you, you can realize, like Reed said, is that you wanting to feel safe and you're snooping because you're trying to ensure that he's not doing something that he shouldn't. Or you're snooping because you want to hurt him back mm -hmm. and break somebody through the mud. And I, told, and I understand that. Well, if you feel violated, sometimes it's natural to want to violate back. Yeah. Um, but realizing that, at least for my in my case, I don't know that I could ever sleep well enough to really be reassured. Like, okay, I just went through all this email and his pockets and his jacket and his car and the glove compartment. What if I missed something? Or what if he didn't leave a clue? Like mm -hmm. this, it doesn't really stop the process. And it also doesn't get to the deeper things that are happening or that had happened in the relationship mm -hmm. that had infidelity take place. And I'm not being an apologist. People need to be responsible and snooping won't pro probably won't provide you with the answers to that question. Um, so things are raw. Most people don't have the tools to work through this. So get the tools Get and, support. and start the process um, and also get the tools for you to be able to handle uh, surprise, upset, grief, anger, all those things um, 
And there's a good chance that your partner doesn't have tools either uh, just because of how fucked up culture is. And so this is one of the reasons that we do what we do is we try to point people in better directions and create better tools for folks. Um, thank you so much for your comment. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm so sorry for your pain. Um, and I hope that this video helped. Yeah. Leave comments below. Let us know what your questions are around this. Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you'd like to subscribe to my social media, it's right there. <laughs> and please subscribe to this channel there. <laughs> if you'd like to see more Goofy Reed and Kathy, there's more videos there. I can see them. Why are they there? <laughs>